Hey there everyone, time for yet again another iPod app review. Now about three weeks ago, a little game called Tiny Tower came out. Now every now and then there comes across that game for iOS that is so addictive that you hear almost everyone talk about it from the time it comes out. And this happens to be one of those apps. And I'm one of the affected. So, I figured I'd share my pain with you. This is Tiny Tower, this time on iPod App Reviews. As I said, I'm covering the rather addictive game known as Tiny Tower. Now, it does have a preload screen, but on my iPod, I hardly ever see it, so... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now it's telling me how many coins I got, but allow me to explain how this game works as I continue on. And that person can wait for a second. Um, as the game suggests, let me zoom out, you get your own Tiny Tower. Now, you start out as a humble tower with just a lobby and you create an apartment complex to begin with and then you create a food area. Now I'm not sure what the progression of these actual stores are so yours may start as a sushi bar or not. I'm not quite sure how that works. They seem to be random and yet not so random. I haven't found anyone else that plays the game to really know. Um, but the way it starts out is Tiny Tower is essentially the Farmville equivalent of creating your own tower, with a twist. Now, this game is very self-aware of the fact that it's an 8-bit, so you'll hear certain little jokes thrown about here and there, but I'll try to spare you the humor unless I absolutely have to use it. There's a lot built into this tiny game, actually. Um, like it said, you've got different types of floors and... The higher up you get, the more expensive a floor is. As you can see, I've already got a floor under construction right there. Now, the reason why I say it's like Farmville in a sense, but not exactly completely like Farmville, is there is a waiting period for things to be built and later on for things to be stocked. But I'll talk about that in a bit later. In your apartment complex, you have Bittisons, the little citizens that take place in your tiny tower. Now, these people aren't just there to just live in the apartment and pay rent, as it were. They are actually there to work in the various floors inside your tower as well. So consider them live-in workers. Do with that what you will. Now, every store or whatever has three levels. Now, those can only be unlocked by putting different bitisons inside of the actual store. So in this case, I've got three people hired in the sushi bar, so I can stock all three things. Now, as you can see, they've all got time limits, like this one takes about 25 minutes, this one takes two minutes. So like I said, it's sort of like Farmville. But the thing I like about this is it does not punish you if you don't get back to it immediately whenever it's done stocking. Which means the following, this stuff isn't going to just spoil and you've suddenly wasted your fake money just because you weren't obsessive enough to actually get back to it right away because you actually have a life. In this case, it actually waits for you to stock the items. So that's sort of its nice little way of making it to where you're not making money off the items yet until you come back to actually press it and stock the item on the shelves of the different things in order for it to come about. Now, you've got different types. You've got the green ones, which are food, the purple ones, which are retail, the blue ones, which are service, the sort of whitish ones are amusement or recreation, and then the orange ones are creative. Now, if you take a closer look at Bittisons, you'll notice that they all have different proficiencies in this one. And they even have their own dream jobs, which if you do put a Bittison in a dream job, then you'll get an even better bonus, you know, certain percentage off, more of an item, stuff like that, just little bonuses. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of strategy in this game. You can use the elevator to take Bittisons to where they want to go. In this case, this person wants to go all the way up to the 19th floor. Um, while I'm doing that, hmm, construction must be helping me out. But, yeah, it will give you all sorts of notifications down here, whether it be a purple person for you to try to find someone and get a reward of the bucks 
Just like most of these games, there is an incentive for the bucks, but I found in this game they're actually easier to get a hold of than the sometimes downright impossible cash in some of the other ones. So that even makes it better. I'm going to make my soda brewery start to brew up since it's completely empty. So you can do all this, and it will give you push notifications, but at the same time, like I said, if you don't quite get back to it, then it's not going to punish you for it by making that a complete waste of time. Um, you can look at your Bitison settings, all of that stuff. There's a lot to get into, but I will at least show you BitBook, which is the Bitison's Facebook. Over here, not only will you find some very funny posts. I even found a reference to a Lewis Black joke in here once, out of the blue. But also, it will also let you know things like, say you've put a Bittison in a job. They will usually post whether they like it or not, so there's some strategy even involved there. So all in all, it's a complex game wrapped in a tiny little tower. And aren't they cute? So, this has been Tiny Tower. Hope you guys liked the review, and my apologies in advance for your new addiction. Sorry. Now, if you want this app so you can start getting addicted and do it at your own risk, you can find the link right below where this post will resi reside at tscn.tv. If you guys want to follow all my feeds, go to friendfeed.com slash labtech7, and labtech7 is also my screen name for the game platform on iOS. So anything that's connected to Game Center, you can find me through that. So until next time, when I find you guys another app, and I promise I'll try to not find one as addictive this time. See you.